damn it. So, uh, how many how many times a week do you jack off? <sighs> I mean, it's just easier to say between two and five times a day. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a cool and <laughs> show. Are we in? Are we in it? So much alcohol. <laughs> I'm a big boobies drinker. Don't tread on me. No snap on snake. No snap on snake. <laughs> All right. Let's figure fucking do this. How dude. do I breathe without you? What do I do with this? <laughs> to pocket it. I don't give a fuck. All right, we're back in it. <clears throat> we're back in it, Gilly. Can you believe it? Oh, this fucking. Oh uh, God, I remember this. Hey, welcome to the show, the Cool and Good Show. You may have heard of it. Uh, I passed this once. Oh boy, he just got poopy shooted. So, uh, <clears throat> big shout out to my boy Zach in the comments, Bob Barker. Yeah. Uh, He's uh he's a he's a old homie of mine that uh we uh we used to run the streets together, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. No, we had a comedy troupe in high school. Okay. Um and uh we wrote this play. Um and it was it was called The Adventures of Captain Esteban and Zack Lad. <laughs> um <clears throat> So, you know, we had this, the, the school had this fucking, uh, big, uh, play. Yeah. Uh, it was like an event, you know? And, uh, <clears throat> so we wrote this play and I don't remember a whole lot about it, but basically it starts out, <clears throat> excuse me, it, the play started out and like, there's like this bad guy. I can't remember what the bad guy's name was. It wasn't Captain Esteban? No, Captain Esteban was my character. Ah. Um, and, uh, so basically, the bad guy, like, has this woman tied to the train tracks, right? Yeah. And, uh, in true old-timey fashion. And I can't remember what exactly happens, but, uh... Basically, Captain Esteban ends up dying. I think he gets hit by the train or something. And uh, he goes to hell. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and, and so the rest of the skit takes place at ja the Jack in the Box in hell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, so we, we spent all this time rehearsing this video or this play. Uh, a lot of time, and we felt really solid about it. I had, like, all my friends in it. Um, and of course, you know, the homie, the homie that requested this story is, is my homie, Zach, and he was Zach lad, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, you, we go to Jack a box in the hell and I don't really remember what else happens, but <laughs> so we, we, we go to do the play, right? And me and my other friend, uh, who is also in the play, his character was named some guy. <laughs> uh, we decided that we were nervous, so we got super stoned <laughs> before we went to the play. And we were panicking, full-on fucking panicking <laughs> at that point. And so everybody's, you know, we go out there, we're doing our, doing our show. And, uh, it comes time for me to say my line. <laughs> and I just choke. <laughs> and so I say... Cake, <laughs> and then like they're they're stood there. Everybody's looking at me like, "What the fuck, dude?" And uh, they try to cue me back in on my line, and I just say, "Cake, <laughs> cake," and then I walked off stage. <laughs> I really let the gang down, man. <laughs> God damn it, cake. Yeah. Why I'm, cake? Oh my, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I was panicking. Uh, <laughs> so, so the fucking hilarious thing about it is, um, 
First of all, my English teacher, uh, Miss Partain, I think her name was. Yeah. Uh, we had been practicing in her classroom, and <laughs> she was so fucking disappointed in me. <laughs> <laughs> and then the funny, the funniest fucking part is we got an ent- the fucking crowd loved it. Because they didn't know we were fucking up. They thought that's what it was supposed to be. Right? We got a whole page to ourselves in the yearbook. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Uh, hey, shout out Zach, man. I uh, love you, brother. Uh, Zach was m- th- my first friend when I moved to Texas. Oh, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, he was my first friend that uh, I so, went to school with. In some small Texas town... Yeah. Uh, the cake story is like local legend. <laughs> there, yeah. There's some rando town out in Texas, out in the middle of nowhere. It's like every everybody that comes into the town for the first time, they're like, all right, let's tell you the fucking cake story. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, they got the, the, the picture from the yearbook is like on a billboard. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and then on the billboard it says... Uh, a hometown of Gilly from ACAGS. Uh, <laughs> nice. Dude, uh, I don't know if we're going to ever pass this mission. I am getting dangerously close. <laughs> so, uh... Fuck. <laughs> um, me and Zach... I, I hope it's okay if I tell this story, Zach, because I think it's a cool story. Um, so, when me and Zach first met, he played this game called Tibia. And uh, it, yeah. you, uh, do you know about it? Have you no. ever heard of it? Hmm. It's basically like a top-down, like old-school RPG MMO. Okay. Um, and uh, I played. I had played it too. You know. Yeah. Uh, so we kind of bonded over that a little bit. And apparently, like he knows hella people that still play this game out where he lives. He's like a big nerd on it. Um, but he still plays it to this day. And he's got a girlfriend that, like, I mean. It seems like they're doing really well, you know. They're really good for each other. And they fucking met on Tibia. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jesus. It's amazing. It's so cool. You like, hear those fucking stories every once in a while. God damn it. Yeah, it, it's awesome. Yeah, Zach's a fucking awesome dude. I love that guy. Yeah. I miss him. Miss ya, buddy. <laughs> um, And yeah, if you want to do... he He's really big into League of Legends. I, I'd be down to do some League. Uh, We could do a couple episodes. Or at least a match, have it be a one-off. But uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm down to set that up with you, buddy. Fuck. <laughs> so, tell me more about Captain Esteban. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's definitely. I don't think it would go over well today. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, yeah you get those every once in a while. Yeah, I wore a sombrero and shit. And uh, it was, yeah, fuck me, dude. That was so close. Oh, I got it. I got it. Um, you know, but I was just, you know, we were just a bunch of kids having fun. And yeah, I mean, Texas in the early two thousands. Um, but uh, you know, I, I don't think I was. I, my intention was never to be insensitive, and I don't think anybody. Yeah. I don't think anybody who observed it took it that way. So. Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, so I actually donned it as like one of my first producer names. Oh, really? Yeah. And, uh, I used to make like really weird expense, experimental, like, I don't even know what you'd call it. (laughs) Um, but yeah, I, I was definitely a dumb kid and like. (laughs) I, I liked the name Get Behind Me Satan, which is actually a White Stripes album, which I think I was aware of that and didn't care. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's not a whole lot to ap- Captain Esteban, but, you know. Yeah. It, just, it just seemed like a funny thing to write a skit about. Yeah. It, it certainly, like, <laughs> when you're a young artist, copyright doesn't really seem to mean as much to you. Oh, yeah. You don't give a fuck. Yeah. I was definitely like that. Um, Do we have a timer going here? Uh, I can see it right there. Okay. Fuck. So, uh, I got a question for you. How many? How, when was the last time you jacked off? Uh, last night. Nice. What kind of porn did you watch? Um, snakes. 
Snakes. Snakes. Snickety snakes. <laughs> Sneaky snakes. I exclusively watch snake porn. <laughs> Don't tread on my snake porn. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. So uh how many how many times a week do you jack off? <sighs> I mean it's just easier to say between two and five times a day. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you spank the snake? Oh my god! Yeah! I can't fucking believe it. Holy shit. I didn't think it was gonna happen, dude. Honestly. I'm very proud of you. God damn. Finally. Next scene. Next song. Oh good. They're way up there. But yeah, if anybody else, you know, has any- remembers any cool stories, uh, about my childhood. Uh, feel free to leave it in the comments, and I'll tell the story. Because <laughs> I've got a bad memory from all the, uh, on account of all the, you know, experimental drug use. <laughs> and then habitual drug use. Yeah, there's that too. Uh, but, you know, those days are behind me. Motherfucker. Oh, oh. Uh, dropping in. It's a boy. <laughs> it's a boy. Whoa, hey, chairs. Yeah. Chair oh, I got all <laughs> fucked up. I got Pathetic. all tangled up. Pathetic. 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 Oh, uh, RNG. Oh, these ones didn't. <sighs> oh, shit. To the window. <laughs> to the wall. Fucking Watch all those chairs fall. Fight me, chair, bro. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> got these goddamn dangle legs. It's a hell of an elbow. It's the people's elbow. Hell of an elbow. Hell of an elbow. Uh, this game's getting far more technical for my liking. Fuck. You done did the doodly doobly What is he doing? Push-ups? Yeah. That, is that the insinuation? Bruh. You saved his life. Saved his ass. Poof. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> nice. I sort of you saved him. You were serving. Call me master. <laughs> Oh, he was, he was like, bowing to Putin. <laughs> I guess. Jump on him. Jump on Oh, oh yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, boy. All right. Hey, tell, tell a funny... You tell a story now. Okay. Um... <laughs> All right, dude. You're out. <laughs> You're off the show. You're out. Yeah, I'm taking your computer. <laughs> I'll be here at the same time every weekend. <laughs> Um, okay. One time when I was a baby, uh, I was born in Germany, right? Right. Uh, um. I think so. Yeah. So, um, on the way home, JFK airport, uh, people were less careful with their babies <laughs> in the 90s. Right. Uh, so they, they were, they just put me in the luggage carrier. <laughs> <laughs> with the rest of the luggage. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> How does that fucking happen? <laughs> <laughs> they, they just put is there me another in. way? Is this the only way? It appears this is the only way. Did you have barrels right there? Fuck barrels. I'll show Ugh. you a fuck barrel. <laughs> yeah, fuck the barrels. But they just put me on the luggage thing. You know, where babies go. And, uh... <laughs> The luggage carrier hit a crack in the floor <laughs> oh, no. and went tumbling. And as my dad puts it, I, <laughs> the baby carrier does a front flip and lands right on its face. Nice. Uh, so that was the first time you ever ate a pile of shit. <laughs> yeah. And there would be many more to eat after that. <laughs> yeah, because I'd take up skateboarding. Yeah. Um, and also eating shit. <laughs> <laughs> By the so, fucking handful. <laughs> so I've um, seen it. I've seen it, ladies and gentlemen. He can't get enough. <laughs> he just loves eating poop. <laughs> Maybe I should just jump in front of the bullet. But yeah, uh, my dad said that when he picked me up, I wasn't even crying. I was just like, Dang. yeah, you're probably in fucking shock. <laughs> <laughs> I was dead. Were I was you, dead were, for three minutes. Were you breathing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that might be the way. Yeah, that might be it. This is the way. Do you know the way? Well, uh, give her one more shot here. Give her one more shot. Can, you know, we'll head on out of here, Aaron. I reckon. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. You suck. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, thanks for, uh, you know, coming and hanging out. And, uh, yeah. Hit that like. Hit the sub. Rub my belly. Hit the bell. Because we do this kind of thing all the fucking time. And we wish you around for it. Yeah, so. and uh, just, you know, give me a call. Yeah. Um, email me pictures of your dog. Uh, and then I will email you pictures of Gilly. A it's, bite. It's the same thing. <laughs> a bite. Gilly, put your shirt on. <laughs>